Now in today's lecture, I'm going to solve a question from quadratic equation. The question is find all number p for each of which the least value of the quadratic trinomial in the interval 0 to 2 and it is equal to 3. So our least value of this quadratic equation should lie between the interval 0 to 2 and the value should be equal to 3. So first thing which I observe for this quadratic equation is I think a is greater than 0. And that means clearly means it's an upward parabola. Now for upward parabola, I know the least value comes at minus b by 2a. So if I put this value, I'll get the least value as minus d by 4a. So, so far we know this. Now, I cannot surely say that the vertex lies in 0 to 2. But what if, if the vertex lies? So there must be cases. So it is possible that the vertex lies in this interval or the vertex does not lie. Okay, so I'm going to take case 1 where the vertex lies in this interval. So let's say this is my x-axis and y-axis and I'm drawing x is equal to 2. So this is x is equal to 2 and this is x is equal to 0 here which is y-axis only. And the least value lies that means vertex of this quadratic equation lies here that is minus b by 2a and comma minus d by 4a. So at some value of x I'll get the least value is 3. So the first condition which is which I'm going to write here is that vertex should lie between 0 to 2. So vertex is minus b by 2a here and minus b by 2a should be from 0 to 2, 2 here. Now minus b by 2a is, I think it is equal to minus b is the coefficient of x that is 4 p upon 4. So I think here p by 2a or p by 2 is from 0 to 2 here. Now that means clearly means p is from 0 to 4 here. So this is the condition. Now the least value at the same time the least value should be equal to the least value should be equal to 3 it is given. That means f of p by 2 at this x value the least value should be equal to 3 let's put p by 2 here so the moment i put p by 2 here you'll get this as p square minus if you put here p by 2 you'll get this as minus 2p square and then p square minus 2p plus 3 sorry plus 2 is equal to 3 now from here p square plus p square 2p square and minus 2p square will cancel out here from p here i can say p will be equal to minus 1 by 2 so p are we are getting here minus 1 by 2 now it's not possible because we have taken p from 0 to 4 in this case when i take p is from 0 to 4 the vertex for sure lie from 0 to 2 but we are not getting the value of p okay in this interval so that the least value is 3 so this case is rejected here next we'll move on to next case to case number 2 now in the previous case i have taken the vertex from 0 to 2 now this time i'm going to take the vertex on the right hand side of 2 here now case 2 Case 2 is that is minus b by 2a should be greater than 2. I'm not taking equal to because in the last case I've taken equal to. Now this time it cannot be on the end point. That means p by 2 should be greater than 2. Then that means p is greater than 4. So this is the condition for which the vertex should lie on the right hand side. Now I'm going to show you how it is possible here. So let's say this is x axis, y axis. This is the line x is equal to 2 and this is the line x is equal to 0 here. Now this time we are having the vertex on the right hand side. And that means we'll be having clearly the diagram will be something like this. The parabola will be something like this. So at this point, we are having the vertex. Okay. And the vertex clearly is on the right hand side. I have written the condition also. Let's write the condition for the least value. Now, I think this is the graph we are getting from 0 to 2. And the least value, as you can see, it is coming at 2 comma 0. And that means f of 2 should be equal to 3 here. Because the least value in this interval will be f of 2 here. So f of 2 will be equal to here. When you put 2 here, you'll get 4 and 4 into 4, 16 minus. You'll get this as 8p plus p square minus 2p plus 2 should be equal to 3. Now I'm going to rewrite this as p square here and minus 10p. Remaining is, I think here remaining is uh, 16 and 2. That is 18 and the, on the other side, if you take 3, it will be plus 15 here. So this is equal to 0. Now let's calculate the value of p from here. So the value of p is 10 plus or minus root over b square minus 4ac. So b square minus 4ac will be equal to, I think here we'll get 40 here. And then divide by 2a, so 2 only. From here we are getting two values of p that is 5 plus or minus here. We are getting root over 10 here. And the other values, let me write the both values like this. Now the value of p is 
5 plus root 10 and 5 minus root 10. Now the condition for which the vertex should lie on the right hand side of 2 is p should be greater than 4. So I'm going to accept the first value that is p is equal to 5 plus root 10 because it is more than 4. Now when it comes to 5 minus root 10, I think the value is less than 4 because root over 10 is nearby 3. So if I subtract 5 from minus 3, so it will be less than 4 here. So clearly I'm going to reject the value, the second value and I'm going to accept the first value. Now let's move on to the case 3. Now the case 3 is the vertex is lying on the left hand side of 0 because we already consider on the right hand side of 0 so left hand side of 0 is case 3. That means minus b by 2a this value should be less than 0 here. Now minus b by 2a is p by 2 here it should, it should be less than 0 then that means p should be less than 0 here. This is the condition for the vertex should be on the left hand side of 0. Now let's write the condition and I'm going to show you graphically what is happening. So let's say this is our x and y axis and x is equal to 2 is the line and this is x is equal to 0 is the y axis. Now our vertex is lying on the left hand side that means the graph is something like this and the vertex is coming before 0 here as you can see here the vertex is coming before 0. Now our graph will be something like this and the least value as you can see the graph from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2 it will be like something like this and the least value is coming at x is equal to 0 as you can see. So least value is f of 0 from the graph and it should be equal to 3. It is given. Let's write the condition. So f of 0 will be p square minus 2p plus 2 should be equal to 3 here. And that means p square minus 2p minus 1 is equal to 0. From here we will get the value p is equal to minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ec. So b square is 4 minus 4ec is 8 here upon 2a. So we will get this value of p as uh, here you can say 1 plus or minus I can write this as 2 root 2 so only root 2 here so we are getting two values of p here first is 1 plus root 2 and the second is 1 minus root 2 here now the question is which one I'm going to accept see this is the condition for the least value so I have written here and we got some values of p now our condition is vertex should be on the left hand side for this I have written the condition so p should be less than 0 so first one I'm going to reject because here p is greater than 0 now 1 minus root 2 is a negative value so that means I'm going to accept here and the values of p are first is we have calculated 1 minus root 2 and the other value of p which is satisfying is 5 plus root 10 which we have calculated in case number 2. So these are the only two values for which the least value will be equal to 3 in the interval 0 to 2. So this will be our final answer and that will be all.